Good morning, this is Cindy, and today's Wednesday walkthrough is a little different from walkthroughs in the past in that this journal is the very first journal I have made for me. And in fact, I want to write on the cover what this will be used for. It says, books I have read 2024 dash. Obviously, a lot more are going to fit into this than just this year. Um, I read on an uh, anywhere between 50 and 75 books a year. I'm an avid reader. I love to read. Um, I'm a little slow getting off the, the gate this year, but I need a place to keep my lists. And I've been keeping them in Microsoft Excel and I may print those out and put those in here as well. Um, I've been actually keeping my list since 2017, I think. And I usually get to about September and then I forget the last three months of the year. The things get busy and I forget to write them down. So I don't have necessarily full lists from any year that I have done this. I'm hoping this might help me do it all year long. I got the idea from my mom and my mother-in-law both of whom were incredibly avid readers. My mother-in-law read a book a day. Um, she loved romances and she would, it wasn't like she'd read them and forget them. She'd read them and remember them and she'd remember entire plot points and character names and everything else from all of these books that she'd read. And she, in order to keep track so that she didn't go when she was going to a library sale or a garage sale or someplace where there were a lot of romance books for a nickel a piece or a dime a piece. She would keep a list so that she knew which ones she had read and she kept them on index cards. My mother, on the other hand, kept them in a notebook, alphabetical by author. So she had like several pages for Nora Roberts and all the Nora Roberts books. Uh, Debbie Maycomer, she read a lot of Debbie Maycomer. I will tell you that I always thought it was Macomber, but uh, I attended a conference at one point and she was the keynote speaker and it was Debbie Maycomber. So now I know how to say her name correctly. So anyway, uh, I made myself this journal and I thought I would sh give it to you. I would show you what it looks like. I have to put my name in the front there. I will do that. This is the title page from a book, an eighth year revised basically literature book that was from uh, 1924 and 1929. So this printing was probably 1929. And I have been taking it apart and using it in various journals. But I love how it has the names of the students who used it for a while. So I left that in there. This is the start of my list. I'll pull it up. You probably can't see it. The only book that's on there right now is Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. It's a series of short stories, and I have, I read that in January. I already have uh, my book sitting next to my, me on my table in the study as for February, but I haven't started reading them yet. So just going through... Um, this is a, a page out of there, and I actually took it because of In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row and row that mark our place. And in the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. This poem was written uh, at the end of World War One as a, um, a kind of a, a commemoration of all those who had died in Flanders Fields. And it has become, um, in the United States, for a long time, it was a Memorial Day poem. Everybody, all the school kids learned it on Memorial Day. It was a, a big thing. Um, and in fact, the poppy is still, for the, for the veterans, uh, is, the poppy sales are still um, done by the American Legion, I think it is. Um, in any case, my husband grew up in Waterloo, New York, which is the birthplace of 
Memorial Day in Waterloo or in uh, the United States. They started the very year after the Civil War ended and have commemorated the war dead ever since. So Memorial Day is a big thing in Waterloo. You'll hear me talk about it more. I'm sure if you've listened to me in the past, you've heard me talk about it. But that's why in Flanders Fields is there. This is just a place to put some notes. Uh, this was also from the book. It's Washington Irving. And it's an outline of the legend of Sleepy Hollow, which is kind of cool. This is just a flip with a pocket that I can put something in later on if I choose. Lots of blank pages for me to write down about the books. Percy Bysshe Shelley, the center. I left my, my pieces long. I'm, I might put some charms on it there. and I don't know yet. The Highwaymen. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. I love that line. I just love the, the alliteration in it. Um, the Highwayman was a poem that I read in high school, and it haunted me for years, and I couldn't ever remember the name of it. Then I finally came across it in a, actually a song by Lorena McKinnett, and it, oh, I, it's still one of my favorite poems, so I put a piece of it in here. I have a flip here. To write things. I have an entire envelope here that I've not filled with anything yet. I don't know what I might put in there. The gold bug, Edgar Allan Poe, he and I oh, share a birthday. So yeah, of course I'm going to have something by Poe in there. The Gettysburg Address, Abraham Lincoln, how could I not? Um, I found this in a magazine and had cut it out and so I just used it on the back of that page. More spaces, another tuck. And that's the end of the first signature. There's two signatures in this. So like I said, it's going to be years before I fill it up. I have a flip. Lois Lowry, great young adult author. A little flip here with a piece that pulls all the way out. And I, I have these book pages that I really like. They came from uh, some, a kit. It's uh, from a, a, they're 12 by 12s. Um, this one, I don't, I only have a little tuck in there and, uh, probably will find something else to go in there as well. I have a couple of book extras from the pages here. This was from a magazine. So a couple of collages. This is a cool piece here in the center. I like that. Um, uh, Art Deco is one of my favorite styles. Judy Bloom. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Okay, just some other little tuck places. Uh, there's a thing for Henry Wadsworth Longfellow on there. And then this is the title page from the Judy Bloom book, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. An important book. This is a really cool, I don't know which, I, this was a digital, but I don't remember where it came from. But I really like it. So that's in there. Another page for stuff. Another, this one, although this is, is it? no, it's not also a belly band. So I've just got a little tuck there and that. So this is, and, I, and the cover is made out of a file folder. And I just sewed the signatures in, and then I covered up my uneven sewing with lace. And I may put some charms on it. I haven't decided yet, or if I'll just cut those off. Um, we'll see. So there's a walkthrough of my most current journal. Yes, I will be making journals for sale soon. I know it seems like I haven't been because I've been showing you ones I've made for other people. And um, next week, next next week's walkthrough Wednesday is of a journal I am swapping with somebody. But I do promise I will be updating journals. Um, I live in the part of the country where we are getting the total eclipse of the sun. Put that earworm in for you. And uh, that is going to be in April. And I want to do a couple of journals because I'm doing a, the, a vendor fair on the day of the eclipse. We're expecting 
hundreds of thousands of people in the Finger Lakes to come see that particular event because it does not happen in this part of the world very often. Um, I can't give you the statistics on it. I haven't looked them up yet. But in any case, it's a very rare event. There is a vendor fair going on here in my small little town, and I will be having little journals for sale um, to commemorate the event. So I will show you those when I get them finished. All right, so this is my walkthrough Wednesday. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated and let you know how many books I read this year. If you are enjoying this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and if you really like this video, and uh, make sure you click on the bell to get a notification the next time a uh, Walkthrough Wednesday or a Fabulous Friday or a Maker Monday video releases. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.